After Brexit, the EU standards no longer apply in Great Britain. Therefore, there should now be champagne bottles again with a capacity of 0.568 liters. But it won't be champagne bottles, by the way. Even the government is dealing with the issue, according to a media report. Is it maintaining tradition? Or insulted the fines after Brexit, which was partly disastrous for Great Britain? Around a year after the final break with the European Union, the British want to use their new freedoms to reintroduce what they call champagne bottles with a volume of a pint glass. Pint-sized bottles were a victim of the EU campaign against imperial units of measurement, which are widespread and known in our country, an unnamed government source told the British Telegraph, as the newspaper reported on Friday. And now that we have left the EU, we can get rid of such rules. Well, the government is working to change them, as it seems. According to EU standards, wine and sparkling wine are sold in 0.75 liter bottles. Smaller variants are the so-called half bottle, that's 0.375 liters, and the piccolo, that's 0.2 liters. According to the report, around 60% of the sparkling wine sold in the UK was previously believed to have been sold in pint-sized bottles. The so-called imperial pint is 0.568 liters. However, there is also a smaller version, the modern pint, with 0.5 liters. A big fan of the pint bottle of champagne was former Prime Minister Winston Churchill, who ruled Great Britain during World War II, among other things, of course. According to the Telegraph, he is said to have once said to his wife, Claim he thinks that a large bottle is too much for me, but I know that half a bottle is not enough to stimulate my brain. The pint measure is therefore the ideal size. Oh, well. Foreign Minister Liz Truss, who has recently been responsible for Britain's relationship with the EU after Frosty left, is said to want to examine several rules and norms left over from EU times. The Conservative politician, who before the Brexit, refer Brexit referendum, by the way, was still campaigning for a country to remain in the European Union, could easily earn plus points with convinced Brexiteers there. Truss is said to have ambitions to replace Boris Johnson on Downing Street sooner or later, but that's why he made her responsible for Brexit now. In the summer, to the delight of Brexit supporters, the British government paved the way for grocers to use imperial units of measurements such as ounces and pounds to indicate weights. It was also celebrated that the royal crown can uh, again be stamped on pint beer glasses. The symbol known as the crown stamp has been used for centuries as proof of the correct calibration of the glasses, but in 2007 it had to give way to the EU standardized CE mark. The new old Champagne bottles could be back on the shelves in British supermarkets in the coming year. Vintner Mark Driver from the Rathfinney estate in the southern English county of Sussex is prepared for this. Driver had already covered around 800 pint-sized bottles of cuvee when Brexit became apparent. The winemaker is also convinced of the size. They can fill four glasses out of it so the perfect amount for two to share. The reasoning, you can only fill three glasses from smaller bottles, which is difficult to share. While a large bottle is too generous for couples who are less able to drink. Does everybody have to fill the glasses to a full all the time? Or can't they think about that one? The focus on age-old traditions could also stem from the fact that they have so far not been able to look for significant economic opportunities or positive effects from Brexit. On the contrary, in the past few months, it has become very clear what no longer works when there is a sudden shortage of workers from the EU. There were gaps in supermarket shelves and petrol stations were left on dry land because there weren't enough people to take trucks through Great Britain. And a situation would at least be conceivable in which there are pint-sized sparkling wine bottles again but which do not get into the shops because there are no truck drivers. And just for every British politician, there are definitely no champagne bottles because champagne is a protected mark. Only sparkling wine from 
the French region of Champagne can be called Champagne. That's why German sparkling wine is not called Champagne either. So it's, it's called Zekt because nobody else is allowed to call it Champagne. I'll see you in my next video. Bis gleich.